Hey, hey folks, I am doing the streamy thing again with more games, War 2. I'm going uh, to just skip my messages up and then we'll get going. <coughs> Pardon me. Just eaten, so my throat is slightly filled with uh, literally everything, apparently. I, I've been coughing non-stop since my meal. Not sure why. Uh, Alright, almost ready. Unfortunately, this won't let me get up on my iPad until the stream starts, so I can't prepare ahead of time, annoyingly. Or I can, and I'm just missing me how. Alright, we're good. We can do this. Uh, boop. Alright, it's been a while. I believe last time we left our heroes, they were literally being eaten by a giant worm. So, you know, let's get back to that. That seems like a good thing to get back to. Hey, you. Ah. Well, I hope you are enjoying your phone call. Like, uh, and I hope that the you're also enjoying me wandering through the insides of a worm. <coughs> Bloody hell, pardon me. I don't know why. I, I, I kind of made myself a homemade sweet and sour tonight, and it did not turn out right at all. Like, it was a complete mess, and it basically seems to have bunged up my entire throat, so I've been coughing non-stop. Ooh. I mean, this isn't too bad, right? It's a oh. Well, that's just rude. Avoid the digestive teeth. So, yeah, this <laughs> disgusting as this is, this is it actually uh, is actually one of the things right, that I. Keep it step with me. Don't fall behind. Sorry, let let the uh, manly, man, manly men talk. Uh, this is one of the things I really defend this game about is its level design. Because this suddenly out of nowhere, you're in a level with very minimal combat, and it's all about the terrain hazards. Like, this is cool. This is a third person shooter, and suddenly it's focused on an obstacle course, effectively. Which is just amazingly awesome. Oh. This one's actually super annoying, because you've got a roadie run through it, and if you hit a wall, you're screwed. Like, your character just takes cover on it, and that makes them just big enough that the digestive teeth will get you. Alright, I actually got through that about dying. Genuinely surprised. Usually takes me a few tries. Oh me. Now I'm burping all over the place. Alright. Hopefully the, um, the quality and all that is alright. By the way, I've just spent the last ten minutes sorting everything out, so should be alright. But let me know if there's any issues with the audio or the video or anything. Uh... Oh good. Oh, this thing's hearts like a mile away from here. And how how are we supposed to find it anyway? Bear, shut up. Keep watch for karma. If we made it, he might have to. Oh, the, the the saliva? Like th those strands of saliva. Gah. So nice. All right, I just need to keep running. Oh god. Okay, I need to stop before that one. I'm good, thank you, Gabu. Uh, still settling into my new home, my new job and all that. But I, I, it was payday this week, so I am finally getting around to furnishing some of my living room. But beyond the... Uh, like, I've kind of split my living room in two. One part is a, kind of a study area where, you know, I've got my desk, my PC and all that. And eventually I'll have some bookcases behind it. And I've got the other side of the room ready to have like a TV, a sofa and all that, uh, as well as my lizard's uh, vivarium. And, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, nope, made it, totally fine, oh I thought it was landing on me. Uh, and I've got the TV stand now, so all my consoles are kind of set up in that, uh, including my Xbox One, which has led to a hilariously long cable, uh, like leading around my living room to get to the PC so I can do this. Uh, I do have a desk now, I have an amazing desk. Uh, my dad got it for me, uh, and it's like actually quite ni quite a nice one for the DMing on Fridays, because uh, it's got like a bit in front of me, and it's also L shaped, so it goes down around to my right. So uh, it's actually quite nice. Uh, you think this might be the heart? Nah. Don't this you know anything about worm, uh, worm anatomy? No, this is something else. Yeah, but what? <laughs> There's something up ahead. And this is where the minimal amount of combat comes in. 
No, go away. Bad little crocodile, white blood cell things. Like seriously, what are you supposed to be? And this is the only time you see anything like that. Like, this is a this is a unique enemy to this area. You never see him again, like at all. Which you know makes sense. They live inside a giant worm. At what point would you think to see them? But it's still so goddamn awesome. <laughs> I am um, the D and D campaign. I actually, I will fully admit, I thought I'd written myself into a bit of a hole with that. Um, however, I'm quite happy with how it's turning out so far. It is. I always enjoy DMing. And, oh, come on. Boop. Ah, that's not what I wanted at all. Boop, there we go. Sorry. Too violent. Had to censor it. Alright, carry on talking after this uh, cutscene. I, I, I hurt, Sarge. I, I tell my brothers and my mom. Well, on the plus side, one of his brothers died last game, so that's one less person we have to tell. Like, you know, that's that's efficiency there. In fact, we can get the rest of his brothers killed. Don't have to tell anybody. Oh, and his mother as well. you gonna tell me what I shoot in here? Look at this shit! Oh, that's why. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Right. Put myself on because I don't think I'm gonna have time to stop and play with things. Uh, so yeah, the D and D's always absolutely love that. I've been DMing since I was a, uh, a kid, and I'm really enjoying getting back to the Friday sessions. I really super am. Uh, and I do have a lot of plans uh, for the group, so the encounter that they've just started, or that we ended last session with, that should be very fun. Although, that's the one thing that I've always uh, never been particularly good at as a DM, is balancing encounters, so it could be very good, it could also just be, you know, outright killing the party. Don't know why that thought, that's been something I've always struggled with. D&D 5th doesn't do itself any favours with that either, like, its challenge ratings are... Oh god! Like, challenge ratings for monsters in D&D uh, 5th is very much a, uh, soft and loose rule. Like, some things are just not what they say. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Yeah, see, this that's the one, like, unless I actively designed the game to be like that, Oh, got distracted. Uh, got distracted by D&D &D talk, but unless I actually design the, ge uh, the game for the parties to be against each other, which admittedly so far I haven't, I am working on a kind of a mechanics rule set for something along that lines. Um, but, yeah, sorry, off the topic. Um, yeah, unless I'm actually trying to do that, I always make a deal with my players. Like, you can make whatever you want, uh, as long as it uh, follows two conditions. It fits into the world, and it fits in the part like the rest of the party is going to want that character there if it gets to a point where you know people uh, like people aren't going to want your character there you, your morals have basically made the party want your way you can't complain if it ends up with um you know uh, having to change character like that's it like the dm goes to a lot of trouble to des like to design uh, these games and i'm speaking in bias because you know i in majority, I DM more so than play, but it's not asking too much of players to build characters that fit uh, well together and fit in the world that the, that the DM has even uh, designed or based their adventure in. Like personally, I, d I don't feel like that's asking too much. So I don't know. Yeah. That was my little DM rant there, actually. It, ha it has happened before, many a time in my games where players have um, led to situations where they're just no, no longer it's, it's no longer feasible for them to be in the party. That happened in one, in one of my last campaigns, and I ended up turning the character into a mini boss. It was very fun, and I had plans for him if, if we'd have uh, carried on with that campaign. Uh, where to? Where to? Where, where do we? 
Oh god. Oh! Ah! We are gonna die. We are gonna die horribly. Ooh! Come on, move, move, move. Excuse me, sirs. Thank you. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Alright, here we go. Crap, 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 crap. Please, let me in. Let me in, please. Whew. But yes, I actually... Like, I'm actually a little disappointed that um, the party didn't seem that infused about the um, this is the, stomach. the kind of current story arc where they were their party was split. Because yeah, actually, and maybe I'm rules. thinking of it more of a story than as a, uh, as a gameplay thing. But I thought it was a, a good idea for the, uh, at least for that. I thought it worked quite well. Oh uh, no, I'm not going to make that. So these are worm acid splinter things. Go, 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 I'm not going to make that. At least you can see where the acid goes as well, that's nice. I just stand on the uh, non-green parts. Yeah. This isn't exactly something that I would uh, envy your position in, admittedly, Cole. You know what? As a kid growing up, I quite often had, you know, fantasies of living the lives of the video game characters or the TV characters. This is one situation of video game characters that I've never really fantasised that I wanted to be in. Don't particularly fancy, you know, running around a giant worm, uh, beating, you know, its acid sphincters. So that's a uh, game passage. Right? Can't step in the pools to the right or left. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, yep. How is university treating you anyway, Gibu? Uh, last I spoke to you, I believe uh, you were moving into your, uh, your new uh, housing uh, and starting uh, uni like shortly ass, afterwards. Ass, more like cheese and riding. Don't him, ass. <laughs> Forget the smell, this place is toxic. <coughs> Well, we're on a one-way trip, so keep moving! Oh, oh, really? That's not the way. That's not the way. I think that's death. We gotta get this the is just full of maze here. Like, you have to find the way out before you suffocate. Uh, nope. Make it out of this. All right, Unless... so we gotta be getting close. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm dying. Ah, oh, the toxic, the toxic is killing me. I can't actually do my chainsaw because the toxic is. That is so fucking cruel. I couldn't escape because the I was taking damage from the uh, from succumbing to the uh, suffocation. I literally hit the point where I was taking damage like seconds before I reached the. Uh, the point to go to as well, for the uh, the wall that I could tear through. That's so cruel. All right, I believe I took a left. Uh, oh. Let's see, ah, there it is. Pretty sure that's it. All right, we gotta we get, gotta the hell out get out of here. Close. Boom. All right. I'm back. Ugh. Coffee, burpee, and so snotty. Where the hell are we now? I am three of the uh, seven Looks dwarfs like that I've just created in my head. Up. Or at least the giant worm equivalent. Yeah. And the heart's got to be close, right? One can hope. It's the heart. Can I shoot it? I don't think it's the heart. 
Damn it, bad Anthony. Uh, oh, I like that. Um, Hold on, blah, 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 blah. Let's get his bloody, get his bloody name. Yeah, and the end of this crazy ride. Uh, that robot pal is uh, sticking around with us. Jack, that's the name. Why the hell did I forget that? Not exactly a hard, uh, hard name to forget or to remember even. Ugh, brain is not working tonight. I can't brain well tonight, I'm afraid. Uh, braining is not something that I am able to do Welcome particularly to well. Oh, huh. I mean, put two arteries to destroy heart. I can do that. I'm very fortunate we brought this uh, chainsaw with us. Slash, also, you know, found on the floor in here because the game is uh, nice for giving us things we need to progress. Uh, wait, which way am I going? Uh, oh, this way. Sorry guys, got lost. Started going backwards. Don't worry, I am leader. I will lead white. Uh, glad that's over. Now we can cut our way out this bitch! Good job, Delta. One dead worm. Wait. I still hear a heartbeat. God damn it. Damn it. More of these guys, and now they're all dead. I actually have a uh, custom URL on my uh, YouTube channel. I had a lot of problems with it uh, when I first started my channel. Uh, and I believe I've got, I've got a URL, but it's not a good one. I think it's like Beanie081, but it's got two E's as opposed to EA. Uh, I might have to look into that again, but I don't think I can change it. Um, I did get a something or other the other day from uh, YouTube saying, because I finally hit 100 subs. Of course um, we gotta be up there. And there was something about that. I forget what they, what options they said I had. Honestly, I'm casualing, I'm casualing this uh, YouTube stuff so much now that I'm not really paying attention to all that anymore. Uh, I might do once I'm a bit more settled in my new job and all that, but right now I'm just just streaming when I feel on it. Oh, thank you. Uh, it is a very nice feeling to have uh, 100 subs um, after all the work put in. But we'll see, as I say, I'm casualing it now, so we'll just see how it goes. How the hell should I know? It doesn't matter. We'll cut them all. It's getting faster. We can put this thing down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Also, like the blood effect in the armor, it just it, it's starting to make the manly soldiers look very uh, looking very pink there. Oh, there is a dead person here. All right, let's open Thank this you. the last heart. Uh, of course. It's fortunate that, you know, uh, primary cog weaponry is designed for killing giant worms, apparently. Like, not only is it allowing us to destroy the arteries, it is also, you know, perfect for tearing through its body and getting to the arteries. Uh, right. So I've got to do these two and I've got to get around to the other two before it uh, fills up with too much blood. Boop! Rolling the blood. Ow! Rolling, 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 rolling. We're going to be drowning in blood. Blood rolling, 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 rolling. And. That turned red before I started chainsawing it. That was like. You know what? I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm bleed uh, preemptively. Uh, get out! Get out! Oh no! Uh, buttons. There we go. Sorry for the cam noises. Wee! Oh. God 
other side, you got, you know, free hair dye out of that bed. I hear red hair is all the craze nowadays. I don't know where to even begin, but just get us the hell out of here. Look out below, Delta. Incoming centaur. That's not a centaur, that's a tank. Control, I requested a pickup, not a drop off. <laughs> they got wormaids from all the worm blood. Basically, be brainless uh, soldiers. Do as told, don't this ask questions. If Hoffman didn't even know about this place, it's not like we have a choice. This operation's our last shot. Move out. Shotgun. So yeah, that whole worm level that we just did in like 10, 15 minutes. That is probably one of my all-time favorite levels in any game ever. Like. The first time I played that, just the fact that it came out of nowhere, suddenly you're running through a giant worm. Like, I absolutely love it. Like, and I think that's why I love the Gears of War series so much, is that from this game onwards, they really just started to add in, like, suddenly you're doing shit that you don't expect. What's up with that? You expecting an attack on the ghost town? These days, Baird, we should expect anything. We'll Tis true. Posted. So why would they build a base way out here? And what are we looking for anyway? Not sure. Though I got a bad feeling we'll know it when we see it. But if this place has answers, why would they be looking into it now? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, governments rarely do. Something's up there. What was that? Wretches, maybe. Couldn't tell. A lot of open space and rooftops around here. Watch for snipers. Pardon me, just burning away. So, I guess it. Like, I guess it kind of makes sense that the locusts are up here. This place doesn't look like an outpost. Like, More like a warehouse. I'm trying to justify it in my head as to why they probably like, just a facade. <laughs> They've obviously been hiding something here. Yeah, but, but what? We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Like Baird raised a very good point. Of, stranded might have been here. Damn it, Dom. Like trying to talk. Out. This place is a mess. So yeah, Baird raised a very good point of, you know, why expect an attack? This is a ghost town, Control. but this is locusts so come. far, you know, target Sebastian's civilization. They, it's a war. They're attacking the places where the living uh, are. No, trying to reach control. Control is offline for now, Delta. You'll report directly to command. Keep us Over. Roger that. Delta out. Shifty. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess, I guess yeah, um, if they found out, you know, there is an abandoned cog outpost here, it makes sense that they that they very uh, very well may investigate it for the same stuff that we're here investigating it for. You know, if we're here looking for it, there's nothing stopping them from uh, doing the same. Welcome to Jameson Depot. Proper identification is required for entry. You gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry, but proper identification is required for entry. Good day. Jack, rip this door pronto. <laughs> so 
can't remember. Forget it, Jack. We're gonna have to blow this thing open. Bear, can you get a blast charge ready? Of course. Regular or extra strength? Extra strength. We'll recon till you're ready. Roger, boss man. Bear it out. Let's see if we can find some power. So, where, like, what is Baird making this blast charge from? Is there, does it just happen to be materials in the center for this? Like, wh what? Stay alert. Is that birds out there or something else? Definitely movement. Hmm. Creepy. Nope, oh, definitely don't want the sniper rifle out in here. It's actually making me wish I had a shotgun. Hello? Anybody there? Nope, alright. Just magical moving boxes. I guess Bed did call this a ghost town, so obviously that means it's going to be haunted. Mm. Sorry, I thought I saw something underneath that box. Okay, that was definitely a growl. Definitely. Sweet. Think it still works? Never know till you try. I mean, you can't say no to burning everything with fire. Our mind was always talking Just, about fire. God damn it! I love that thing. Yeah. Hey. And burned our asses with it. Was he on Rest in peace, Carmine. When did he mention fire? Like, did he mention fire? Let's try this out. Also, that is a wretch hole if ever I've seen one. Any wretches? Anybody coming? Should we try that door again? No, it's not a power issue. It's clearance. Let's just get back to the centaur. All right. Okay. Uh, can't go that way. Nope. Damn it. Oh, there is a lever. I like buttons. And just in case we do oh things things and stuff. Okay. I told you to burn and fire, please, sir. More through my actions than my words, admittedly. Yeah, this thing ain't actually that great. Wait. Feels like it really doesn't do the damage that it could do. Uh, oh, you're coming very, sir. Feel the heat. Did you want to just jump down, sir? What are you doing? Ooh. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I'm actually better off punching these than using the flamethrower. For once, burn it with fire is less effective than fist to face. Excuse me, sir. Uh, sir, I can't hit you when you're behind me. Yeah. Please, sir. Please, please don't. Please don't. Please not. Alright. I think that's all I'm dead. <laughs> but burning it with fire wasn't actually that effective, Gibu. I, I don't understand it. It should be. Burning it with fire should always be a, the effective solution to our problems. Yo, what did you build way? this from, Bad? Security door we need to bypass. Bypass? You mean you're gonna blow that shit up? Exactly. It's all ready, Marcus. Just make sure you get your ass outside of the blast radius, and whatever you do, don't drop the thing. Gotcha. We'll let you know how it goes. Oh, we'll know. <laughs> all right, pistols only. This is actually a... Um... Doing this bit in co-op is kind of Man, interesting was this heavy. because you both have a bit regular. of control over the uh, like over the movement. Jack, see what you can do. Like obviously, in the um, co-op uh, co play for the game, the second player plays as Dom, so you've got one person on the right, one person on the left, and you kind of you really have to work together to <laughs> to move the thing around, especially since you actually only have uh, what is it like a 180 
that you can actually sh uh, a 180 arc that you can actually shoot. Oops, sorry, Dom. Uh, God, this thing is weird to steer. Okay. Oh, incoming! Immediately, he goes behind me. Like, damn it! Stop going behind me! Ugh. Damn it! Okay, that one's dead. Like, literally came out of, uh, like, the first ones were immediately in my blind spot. Ooh. Sir, I see you. No, no, you don't. I'm not here. Oh, damn it. You jump over the box and then run backwards. Like... That was the most cowardly wretch ever. First off, he starts hiding behind the box. Then he jumps over and goes, Actually, you know what? Fuck this shit. Uh, which, you know, he was right to say. All his friends are dead. Uh, you know, maybe he was right in choosing life over death. Who knows? Also, I believe I complain about this every single time I play this game, but God, I need to get a better uh, audio solution for listening to the game sounds. I'm using earphones that you can't change the volume on, so it's literally bursting in my ear. <coughs> like, really high volume. And immediately pull that out as well. Have proper identification. Oh, yeah. I got some identification for you. Sir, that is not identification. That is a bomb. You are killing me. Ow, this is pain. I am a dead AI now. And, you know, paraphrasing it and assuming that is what he would say. Were he a slightly smarter AI. Granted. Thank you. <laughs> Carry on. Never mind, that's what he says apparently. Gotta hand it to Baird. <laughs> does good work. Out of He literally does magic. That is the only that is the only possibility as to how he made that. He summoned Definitely the components out of midair and made it explosive out of nothing. I'm Niles. Ooh. Please let me know if I can be of any assistance. Is that Do a you... recording? I think so. Actually, I'm not just a recording. Hmm. What? Please, do come in. I'll tell you more about the facility. Just please, okay. don't blow me up anymore. Explosions do hurt. Um, anything good? Anything good? Looks Ooh. like some kind of workers' quarters. Or an internment camp. Man, this place just reeks of wrong. Our facility maintains the highest possible standards, I assure you. We take great pride in our work here. Yeah, sure looks like it. Do. Command, this is Delta. Do you copy? Roger, Delta. What do you got? We're in the facility, but it's got a few surprises. And I don't think it's abandoned. Well, it should be empty, Delta. What do you see? Not seeing. Hearing. Some guys controlling the security systems. Hostile? Annoying. Sounds like you have it under control, Delta. Keep us posted. Command out. So I guess AI are kind of a new thing in this world. Uh, if it's easier for Marcus to just assume there's somebody who's survived in here all this time than, uh, than the idea of an AI. Um, ooh, that's better than a flamethrower. Literally anything is better than a flamethrower, apparently. Uh, I hear things. Uh, As you can see, we maintain the highest standards of security at New Hope. After all, one can never have too much security. Security can one. system enabled. Well, this should be interesting. Hmm. Security system deactivated. Okay. Yep. We Look at this. pride in the cleanliness of our facility. Filth will not be tolerated. Thank you for helping to maintain our facility's stellar standards. <laughs> 
This is what you call filth stellar, will not be tolerated. This wall is literally made of cobwebs. Like, there is a second wall here. That wall is spider Th feces? Like, it's. Mm. Mm. Well, this is the room of the tu uh, turrets. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to us in here. Hammer burst? Uh, I don't need that. Looks like there was a locust drone in there as well as the wretches. Uh, did he get killed by the turrets or has he been there a while? Oh, hi there. Whereabouts is your button? How can I turn you off? Uh... As you make your way through our facility, do let us mm -hmm. know if you encounter any conditions that do not meet our standards. We aim to please at New Hope. Yes, we do. That wasn't creepy at all. We aim to please. Yes, we do. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Mr. Friendly AI slash person who's been living here all this time person. Uh, where is the button for that turret back there? Okay. Hmm. I'm fairly sure there will be one. Like, I do... Ah, that's where it's going to be. There we go. Like, I do remember parts of this um, level. And I believe all the turrets we come across in here, there is uh, buttons and stuff to uh, turn them off. Absolutely no reason to go back here. I assume there was a collectible here at one time. But I've collected it in a previous playthrough. God knows how many years ago. Security mm -hmm. system enabled. Oh! Hi there. How you doing, Mr. Turret? Uh. So this is the office quarters. Uh, we have actually entered uh, Fallout... Ah! Uh, Gears of War Fallout Edition. Just as a heads up. Uh, okay, it doesn't go that far. Uh, boop. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. It's fine. Boop. Alright, I need to roll into that room. Once it goes past me. Boop. Oh, there we go. Uh, anything around here? No. Alright, worth checking. Uh, really don't know why I bother looking for collectibles. I've not collected them all, but I spent enough time scouring the area when I was a kid that I'm not going to find anything new. Like, the only things that are possible to find are stuff that I myself would never... Oh my god, that's a flame turret. Tur tur Oh, so is that. Oh, sir, you don't seem to be dead. Thank you, I, I can help you with that. See, I'm a nice guy, really. Ooh. I mean... Mm, yellow. Oh, it actually worked. That's actually how you're supposed to do it, apparently. I was fully expecting myself to die there, not gonna lie. I was mentally trying to uh, map where the last checkpoint was. Security, like uh, <laughs> okay, that's overkill. Don't you agree? There's absolutely no reason for that many Is turrets. This guy for real? Uh. Ow. Okay, yep, yeah, that's pain. On the plus side, if we wanted to take a shower, you know, get all the blood guts off. Uh, the blood guts as opposed to the non-bloody guts. Uh... Hmm. Um. Do you reckon I can make it? <laughs> like, is this. Are you just supposed to. step out of here? Right, I just want to get a look at this. Ah. I see. Oh god. Did yeah, not mean to take cover there. Uh, 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 we got it. 
Uh, I can only assume that my panicked ing uh, uh, was vital to the process. Oh, hey guys. Psst, that's not how you take cover. Uh, oh, there's another one. A little bit of overkill there, Don, I'm afraid. Don, Don. Ah! Okay, immediate regret. Fixed it. Fixed the problem. Nice. Ow. All right, we're good. We got this. And this shit just keeps getting weirder. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to have the, you know, the, the uh, health services rounds to check out this kitchen. I do not think you will pass the uh, health uh, grading. Uh, you, you just cannot be serving food here, guy. How did you survive that? Fucking tank wretch. Good to go. These are also some of the. Uh, why are the turrets in the kitchen? I just want to question this fact. Like, there is a lot of places where I can legitimately understand wanting turrets in a secure facility. But the kitchen? Like, oh no, they're going to make some bacon and eggs. Better kill them. Like, they're wasting our fine ingredients. Ow! Oh god, pain. Ooh, that was... that was hurt. That was hurt and pain. Um. Why do I feel like death and pain is happening here? Marcus, you there? I read you, Baird. What's up? Coast is still clear, but looks like this weather's taking a turn for the worse. Roger that. We'll try to make this quick. Does sound stormy out there. I feel like the AI, AI has issues against the savages. Like, the AI does legitimately sound like something you would come across in a Fallout game. Uh, is there a button for these? I don't see one anywhere. Hmm. Like, what was this facility? Legitimately can't, like... Oh god, oh god, I forgot, I immediately forgot there was turrets in this room. I am, oh god. <clears throat> so, yeah, that, that is the, apparently the, um, that is the extent of my short, uh, short term memory. Literally step out of a room, turn around, oh god, there's turrets in here. Dang it. POWs here? From the Pendulum Wars? Doubt it. This place is set up to keep people out. Hmm. Maybe this is where they were building the Super Soldier Serum. They were making a Gears of War law, uh, uh, Captain America. Mm, yeah. I mean, that's, that, that seems right. That totally fits the uh, theme of the uh, game. Um. Yes. We do. You don't have to keep like ending your sentences with a. Uh, with some sort of emphasis on the previous one. There we go. Dom, um, let, let me help. Did you stick the wretch with a fucking grenade? The single wretch, based on melee attacking, you stuck with a grenade. I... <laughs> Not the smartest guys, Dom. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. I, I apologise because those turrets really wanted to burn me. Marcus, but I just couldn't have it. Weather's gone to shit. Feels like razor hell's on the oh, way. thanks, Jack. Are you up, we're have to getting the door? Yeah, yeah, you're getting the door. Thank All right, you. get out of the storm. We'll get back there as soon as we can. No. Out. Stay out there. Deal with the uh, razor hail. 
Like, you, an, an umbrella will solve it, surely. Uh, I mean, if you can build a explosive charge out of literal nothing, I'm sure you can build an umbrella out of something. Oh, pardon me. We're gonna have to oh. split up. One of us needs to power down these turrets. Who gets power down duty? You or me? You know what? I'm a I'm gonna take the power down uh, duty and not give it to the AI okay, Dom, for ready. reasons. All right, the cog obviously go. didn't want anyone getting in here. This security is insane. Oh, I assure you, our concept of security is quite safe. This is so, this is quite easy when you're doing it single player. Like as long as you do this route, not really possible to lose it. Like it doesn't even let you press the buttons too quickly. So a real fun house down yeah. here, don't they? Very fun to do that bit with uh, two player though. They'll admit. Lots of fun memories playing this game with uh, my high school friends. Holy shit. Uh, I used to play at Mad Mike a lot. Another guy who's appeared on my channel a fair few times. What the hell are these things? Hmm. Some kind of stasis tanks. But what's in them? Those aren't wretches. I don't believe that you have access to this part of the hmm. facility. Sorry, I was too busy nostalgiaing. Wasn't really paying attention to the oh god, kill it with fire things within the tubes. And most unpleasant occurrences. I assure you. After all, we don't need you running around and plugging into random computer terminals, do we now? The story of the Gears games is Command, amazing, is Jerry. Like, I absolutely this? love them. I've, I I've played through Gears 1 through 3 fairly religiously and love those three games. Judgment and 4, however, I wasn't impressed. Like, Judgment was an entirely different kind of game. Uh, Roger that. I actually have no clue if there's anybody still playing multiplayer. I doubt there will be on the earlier games. Might be on Gears 3. Uh, there definitely is on Gears 4. But that's still Jack, coming out with new stuff for the multiplayer. Uh, one of these terminals will have some intel on this place. I would love find the to get some uh, folks together for Gears of War 3 Horde mode, though. Like, that is the best survival mode in any game ever. Absolutely love it. The one in uh, Gears War 2 is also very good. Uh, not a fan of 4 again. I don't feel like I don't feel like I like the enemies in Gears of War 4. Like I'm not a fan of the uh, droids and stuff. Don't know why. Uh, I'll probably end up playing 4 once I've uh, as I play through the series. In fact, I will play, end up playing through 4 as I play through the series. Uh, so I still still want to complete it. Nice one, Jack. Slowly rolling out the view of my camera as well. It's what they always say. In this case, we're truly doing it. Or at least, we're giving it our very best shot. What is this? Sounds like Niles. A little less wacko, though. The trip to Mount Kadar won't be an easy one. Not by any means. We'll have it move during the night, in the snow. And Chairman McGrath won't even authorize the use of vehicles to transport the subjects. Subjects? What was he talking about? Don't know. I will be moving behind a semi-sentient security system to watch over the facility. I would hate for anyone to disturb the sire's rest, and we would all like the lose the opportunity to study them as they grow. I'm almost embarrassed to admit that the security system is based off of my personality, but I... Jack, what just happened? What the hell was that? Nothing good. Kill the fire things escaping the tubes. Never been much of a fan of the um, like the PvP multiplayer in these games, but then again, I'm not a big fan of PvP in general. I will fully admit, with the exception of a few games, Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm uh, being the main uh, exceptions. Uh, I'm playing on Xbox One. I don't know if Gears of War Two is on PC yet. Uh, they put the Gears of War 1 Ultimate Edition on PC. I don't think Gears 2 is on uh, on PC yet, though. Unfortunately, because I would have, like, if I could get these games on PC, I have no doubt I'd be able to convince a friend to play it with me. The problem is, I'm the only uh, console gamer amongst the group of gamers I tend to play with. Yeah. Which is a shame. They're trying to get out. Should... We be trying to help them? I don't no. Think so. We, don't we know should we should not. 
be something contaminated or worse. Oh, there he is. Yep, that is literally the emphasis of the phrase, kill it with fire. Hmm. Tasty. What the hell are these things? Yeah, I, I love the series, but I really think they should have just... Like, Gears of War 3 ended at a really good... Like, it had an ending. It had an ending to the series, and it was a good one. I, I honestly think they should have just left it there, rather than doing a Gears 4. Like, moved on to bigger, better things. A bit, uh, eh, bigger and just as good things. Uh, I think that's the problem nowadays with a lot of um, big AAA series. Is uh oh, developers seem to be scared to t uh, to like move to a new title kind of thing. Like you're more likely to get a sequel on a series uh, as opposed to a brand new series made by the same developers. Don't get me wrong, it still happen, happens, there's still some, um, pardon me, and there are good sequels. But I think sometimes you just don't know when to leave things. Eh, stop that, stop that. Yep, I'm gonna die. Uh, please eat my bullets and die. There we go. You dead? Cool. I feel like these things are like the flood. They, if you're not careful, they get back up. Oh, that's dumb. Oh god, that he's shooting behind me, which means this thing's there. Oh, the chainsaw is so painful in my uh, earphones. Ouch. Ow. Ow. And yeah, build, uh, building a PC, if you're not uh, willing to kind of go all out on it, is uh, fairly uh, difficult. I think I spent about a grand on mine. Uh, and it it's a bloody good one. It's lasted me about three or four years now. Uh, and still plays games on Ultra and all, uh, all that. But yeah, it does. If you want a good one, you've, you've got to kind of spend out the arse for it. Otherwise, you'll just be spending the same amount in about a year's time to kind of keep up to date with games uh, of being able to be able to play certain uh, like new get titles. Mm hmm. Dom, stop playing with your food. Look, I'll, I'll change sorry for you, don't worry, I got this. So loud. Literal death in my ears. I ask you, how else do we secure our future? What is a culture without hope? We don't secure our future by building horrible zombie mutant thing, Majigs! We are literally building the flood right now. Or at least the um the bigger versions of the flood. I forget what the actual name for them is. Sir, when you go down, please stay down. Ow. I like how he waited. It's like, oh, you're chainsawing my friend? I, I can wait. I'm fine. Ah, fuck. Ugh. I am terrible at video games. And it's all out there on the internet for everybody to see. I tried to warn you. Now oh, all the way back? No. Oh. That could be very problematic. Nah, wouldn't problematic at all. It's not like I've already died to them. No? Okay, yeah, you stay in there. You'd be a good sire. Makes it sound like I'm talking to a king or something. Trying to get out. Sire? Should we be trying to help them? I don't think so. We don't know what's in there. It could be something contaminated or worse. He's like widening my camera, I think. I'm a fidget on a, uh, on a chair of wheels. It's not a good combo. When you're trying to record yourself, at least. Uh, what the hell are these things? So much noise in my ear. Of course. Didn't you weep the abstract before your arrival? What the fuck are you doing? That one was possessed. Like, that was just full on ghost possession there. There we go. On the plus side, uh, enemies that melee in a game where your primary weapon is literally a chainsaw. Oh, come on. So that needs die. There we go. Hey. Um, 10,350 on my 100,000 needed. God. Ah. Uh. 
How much is that costing you, uh, Jerry? I can't imagine that's particularly cheap. Mm. If you don't mind me asking, of course. Oh god, oh god, there's one behind me, isn't there? Sir, please, no, I don't want to die. I have, I have a life. I, I need to, I need to live it. I need to save the earth or uh, haven from the locust threat. Oh, you have been down twice. You don't get free. Greedy uh, fucker. Uh. I will fully admit as well, I know nothing about like the hardware and stuff of uh, PCs. I was very lucky in the way that I had a friend. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I had a friend build my lap, my PC for me. Um, oh, pardon me. Had I not... Um, pardon me, seriously. Uh, had I not had a friend that would uh, build build it for me, I would not have a uh, decent PC. I'd just have like a off-the-shelf one. Because uh, I, I know nothing about them. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Excuse me, sir, you're inside me right now. Please don't be inside me. I don't want you there. <laughs> Somebody needs to teach a size about personal bubbles. Personal space. <laughs> don't want to die. No. No. Oh my god. So many of the fuckers. Oh, hi. Alright. You all dead? Is there anybody left still alive? Feel free to speak up. Oh, I'm not going to kill you. Yes, I am. He spoke up. Oh my god, literally stop it. Please. Any more? Any more for any... Sir. <laughs> like, I know there's guys over there. Maybe if I don't look at them, they won't chainsaw me. You know, maybe... Maybe if you understand her... Has he, has he noticed me? Is he is he coming my way? Is he nah he's, he's not gonna go nah it's, it's fine and oh god <laughs> Oh I'm sorry I couldn't help I, um... Yeah Always entertain you when enemies act weird I have to give him a little bit a bit of a character Alright I'm gonna take this ammo down Uh we could take the emphasis of kill it with fire but it is quite literally useless uh, all right, I think I, th I think we're safe. These nope, yep, never mind. These this is where I died before. This nut's definitely controlling the security devices. We gotta find a way to shut him down. I feel like everybody in the world now needs to start talking like that AI. Like every time you say a sentence, you then need to say a second sentence. It just emphasizes it. You know, just to make what you're talking about seem so much more important. What the? What just? Sir? Uh. Look, go down. Stay down. Oh, incoming. It just make it makes what you're saying seem a lot more important. Extremely important. I can do it, see? Uh, improv master. Oh! Like, why is this a thing as well? Like, this is a thing in a lot of, like, mutated, um, like, genetic mutate things where their mouths are kind of like. They're, they're partially fleshed together, like, if you can see it on the side. It's like, what gen. Uh, what. Point, do you in genetic mutation does the scientist think you know what we don't need mouths fuck eating we, you know like yeah if, if they don't need to eat that's fair but I'm assuming these things are trying to eat us right now so or, or you know maybe they're, just, maybe, they're, maybe they're trying to hug us like, are you coming in for a hug are you, are you, do you want a hug do you want to hug me nope doesn't want to hug uh yep yeah, death tried the peaceful approach peaceful approach may have got me killed maybe dying for a joke Ugh. You getting back up? Oh, hi! 
Hey, stop chainsawing over Billy Bob's body. Oh, he's chainsawing me. All right, done. Get on your wheel. We, we got this, bro. I use some help here. And I'm about one of those things is going to pop as soon as we get to the midway point. Mount Kadar. Yeah? What? What are you talking about, Mr. AI person? We're definitely not going back in there. We've got a chance at shutting him down. I'm oh. guessing this is it. Look around for a switch or a power supply. The system's getting nuttier by the second. Like, I get that we don't like the guy, maybe, but there we go. Is there any point to turning him off? Nighty night, Niles. Like, if anything, isn't he trying to keep the size uh, safe? Oh, contain. Not that he's doing a good job. Listen to what? L listen to what? Glad that's over with. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't what he wants to listen to. I don't. Hmm? Yeah, well, shit's going down here too. <laughs> Back up. No, just get back to the centaur. I think we've got what we needed. Uh, Razor Hail? Not so good for my life expectancy. Well, find a way, damn it. That extremely tactical and uh, strategic military conversation basically went with shit is going bad. Shit is going bad here, too. Okay. Um, but yes, Razor Hail. Very fun. Uh, I'm actually just going to take a quick loo break. Uh, blah, 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 I need to get my bonus. Nope, that's not the one. There we go. Uh, I'll be right back, folks. I'm back. <laughs> there he is. All right, let's get back to it. All right, see you later, then, Jerry. Uh, looking at the watching now count, he is already gone. But uh, either way, it was nice. Yeah. There is locust here. There is actually like, what are locusts doing here? Legitimate question. Why would you poke your head out there? Okay, I need to. There we go. Next. Boop. Alright. Uh... <sighs> I'm already tied out. I've only been streaming for like an hour. Eh. I'm why I'm tired. I think uh, I've been doing very little during my work days at the moment, so I think it's kind of uh, rolling over 
It's like, because because I'm spending most of my weekdays just kind of sat there doing nothing. It's just got me in a very exhausted mindset. Please be saying he's died, Dom. Please don't get in my way. Maybe just get some air, like earphones with volume control. In the legs. And you're dead. Uh, I think we're done. Also, I managed to cut my finger in the stupidest way when I was cooking earlier. And we've got a pair of tongs that kind of... They have a little um, thing on the top of them. Yeah. You can push in or pull out uh, to basically allow them to separate. And it's a very thin piece of metal on the top, so I was basically just trying to push it back in. I managed to split open the tip of my finger. It's, like, it's, it's, it's not a deep cut in the slightest, but it's ridiculously painful. Like, this should not hurt this much. Should physically... Oh, hi, sir. Uh -huh. Can't reach. Excuse me. Try... Sirs, I was trying to shoot that person. We were having a nice conversation with bullets. And you started shooting me. Oh, there we go. Got it. That's what I was aiming for. Boom. Uh, sniper rifles with those flamethrower guys is just a beautiful combination. I'm looking forward to getting one back. Make good use of the shotgun, though. Happy I, happy I dropped the uh, sniper for it. We won't talk about the flamethrower. Uh, there we go. Wait, so that... If I'd have pressed the button, it'd have... Dang it. Whew. All right. All right, computer. See you in a bit. Uh, oh, hi there. Yep, you stay over there, please. Oh no, my tank's on fire, Fred. What do I do? I'm running towards you, Frank. God damn it, Frank. In your butt. Alright, we got this. Uh, oh! Hi there. Boop. Excuse me, I'm trying it. Oh, there we go. Don got it. I hit it once, but Don finished it off. And that is fine by me. You know what? That explosion didn't do enough. Just go ahead. There we go. Uh, that was not me. They threw an amazing grenade that landed just beyond Dom's cover. Uh, I'm pretty sure we all saw it. Uh, really, really good throw on their part. I mean, didn't get any of us, but landed fairly near to us uh, at the very least. Ooh. Nice. Uh, seconded. <clears> hmm. <throat> Oh, hi there. You know what? One grenade isn't enough. There we go. And that's Razor Hail. Uh, basically, don't step in that. Or death. Okay. Guess it's not always so bad. What do you mean it's not always so bad? Like, I guess they're supposed to walk into that. Maybe I just wasted my grenades. In reality, though, all that did was stop me from getting a mulcher. But yeah, not always that bad, Dom. We should head for that train car. All right, but we need to find a way around. No way we're we making it through this much hail. Ooh, All right, who was in there? I see ya. I see ya, buddy. Taking that ass. Boop. Oh no. Boop. Gotcha. In the knee. There we go. That's uh oh, that's my phone going off. Uh, stupid professional. Uh, okay, cool. Just uh let me know when my new TV is going to be arriving. Yeah. Which is something I am super hyped for. 
because having a TV would be awesome. You know, does make life does make life nice. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Sirs, please, please stop with the shooting. Or at least stand in a place that allows me to shoot you. There we go. Oh, that's not a... There we go. I don't know how much I love the bolt pistol. Seriously good. Oop. Oop. Get, uh... Rather you had to be ducked down, I think, Marcus. Yes. Uh, just feels better for our life expectancy. Up your head up. Boop! Boop! Alright, pop your head up. Come on, you can do it, I believe in you. Boop! I love how you literally pop their head and next to them, the hole just explodes somehow. Like, the hole has some head-based weakness. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, guys, stand up! I just want to mulch ya! I'm gonna mulch ya! No, you're not. Boop. That's really just because I don't think I need to kill you. But you know what? Oh, no, yeah, fair enough. You, you raise a good point, sir. That, that point is pain. You know what? Boop. Bye! We're very slowly escaping. <laughs> like, oh, if only I knew how to move slightly to the left. Oh, okay, I guess we don't have to kill you. Like, with the cover here, we literally just don't have to do these firefights. We can just hide. I'm pretty sure. Uh, said. I mean, uh, yeah, pretty sure they can't get to us. Alright, where to now, Dom? Something happen? Oh, there is a big hole. Really want a sniper rifle. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's from over there. Oh, they've got sniper rifles. Of course they do. Ouch. Can I? No. Oh, I can. Uh. His helmet. Nope, that was a miss. Really, I'm just shooting and ducking in the hopes of getting the super shot. Uh, like reloading instantly. That actually worked somehow. Uh, that probably shouldn't have been super shot, but I'll take it. That one was. Uh, anybody else? Any more? Any more? Really feel like I didn't do much that combat, which means that you're, you know, kind of useful, Dom. Eh, welcome back to you. I hope you have nice, lovely foods. Uh, let's say my meal tonight was a sweet and sour. That I'm not sure could actually be possibly called a sweet and sour. It was homemade and it was not particularly great. Nice, but it wasn't a sweet and sour. Nice. And mine. Alright, we have a sniper rifle. I am happy with this one. It's a dead end. Maybe we can open up these doors for shelter. Uh, we'll do that after we've, you know, shot this guy. Thank you for standing there, sir. Like, oh, is, is, he, is he just trying to look at me? Or, wait, what's the long barrel thing that's pointing? Oh, I'm dead now. Do love me a sniper. Oh, who's coming? Uh, was I actually going to be there or. No? Okay. Just hearing things. Or hearing people that I can't see. Have you got a good recipe for it, uh, you? I'll admit, it's something like sweet and sour is. Uh, like, takeaway sweet and sour is one of my all time favourite meals. So I would love to have a good recipe for it, to, to make it from scratch this is, like, not the uh, jars. But it's possibly... Uh, it's 
possibly just the fact that I kind of um, yeah, did do a very good job of it, maybe, as opposed to the recipes that the one I had tonight. Let's say I don't think it could legitimately be called a sweet and sour. I was trying to do the uh, like battered chicken. It just kind of ended up with loads of uh, egg <laughs> uh, in my uh, like mixed in with the sauce as opposed to the actual chicken. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I was talking to somebody, like one of my coworkers the other day, and they said that uh, when their son went to uni, they got him a book which was microwavable meals in a mug. Which, like, it's meals that you make in a microwave in a mug. Which just to me sounds so. Like. <sighs> ah. This shit, like, I want a good sweet and sour with, like, battered meat. I absolutely love sweet and sour uh, meatballs. Or prawn balls. Ow, ow, ow. Love me some balls. But only if they're sweet or sour. Don't particularly like them salty. Am I making innuendo yet? Am I doing the making things sex metaphor yet? Oh hi. Well, on the good in the good news, we don't actually have to fight you guys. So I'ma just hide here. Look out. And I'm sure you can actually probably find it if you look on the internet, just I think it's like microwaveable meals in a mug. Uh and no grenades. Oh, that's a boomer. That is probably the one thing that I can't particularly hide from. Don't worry, Tom. I got you. Yep. Oh, Tom. Please, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I should probably have tried to kill the boomer by now, but I'm really just trying to prove myself right. Insane, like, ah, I want to hide. Oh, and that's a Moltra on this side. So, okay, that's awkward. Oh, now. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to kill this guy. Damn, you're making it super awkward. Ugh. Oop. Not a kill. Right, this should kill him. Oh, God. That's not the guy I was aiming at, but you know what? I had such a good shot, I just couldn't help myself. I think Dom's got the kill. Nope, oh, that's the grinder, not the boomer. Ow. Like, these guys are very much Pokemon. Like, they get given a gun and they just have to, you know, that that's all they can say. Like, give that guy a, guy a boom shot and tell him that he can only ever say boom. Give that guy a mulch and say he can only ever say grind. There we go. Snipe. Snipe. Sniper. Sorry, I actually realised that that was actually very close to a natural Pokemon. Uh, wait, it's not Sniper, it's Scyther. God damn it. Who's all geek cred? Zero out of ten. Worst person on the internet. Uh, come on. There we go. I'm using all my ammo there. Oops. Alright, which way do we go? Wait, am I supposed to... Seriously, which way do I, do I go? Down there, maybe? No, can't go down. Oh, yes, I can go down there. Oh, there's a ladder. Alright, got this. Should totally have changed weapon, you know. But it's alright, nothing's up here anyway. Uh, where to? Uh, through the razor hill. We're good, we're good. Bear, what's your status? Not good, man. We're still trapped, and the centaur's taking a beating. Damn it! Let's get out of here. We got a grab hold! Hmm. Anybody? Oh, there they are. Actually, very low on ammo. You can die in a bullet. You can get a super shot, and the other guy can die in a bullet. And one more super shot, we'll get a third guy. Actually, I don't need a super shot for this guy, as long as I get a headshot. Oh, he's down anyway. Okay, why are things happening? Why am I getting a wide rot? Damn it, I lost the super shot. Damn it, I lost the shot. Alright. <laughs> I'll admit. Yeah. I, 
I'm now I'm in, in the kind of routine full time work. I'm finding it much easier to kind of keep on top of like keeping the the base things in like bread, cereal, and food uh, in general. Especially since my there's like three or four shops in between me and work. And since I walk there, it's basically a case of just pop in, either on the way or the way back. So I don't quite have that problem. But I did when I was in uni. Like, I remember those days. Uh, where is it? Oh, that's a sniper. can't even see where he is. He's over there somewhere, right? Oh, literally both of them popped up at the same time. Uh, you know, when you say that, you're actually supposed to follow through. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Is there actually a route I can take here? I feel like, uh, I guess I'm supposed to... I guess I'm supposed to run this. Yeah, ouch. Okay, actually, that's, that looks further than it actually was. Get a frag in there! Be really nice if I actually had a frag. Ooh, is that what I think? No, it's not what I think it is. Oh no, give me that back. Who wants a normal pistol? You can have a bolt pistol. Mm. Oh, shot. Fucked it up. Ugh, Bam's versed. Ah. Oh, yeah. oh man. A lot of my sh uh, shopping either happened in the like uh, the, the smaller supermarkets, like te uh, Tesco's Extra or like the I forget what Sainsbury's called there, uh, kind of small uh, small chain. But like, this, but yeah, you, you get it. the the smaller supermarkets, which were just kind of down the street all the time from me. Like wherever I lived, I was always at like a ten minute walk at most. Uh, I just do that. Oh, then. I did start using like online services like Tes uh, Tesco's online and stuff. If I ever thought, you know, I can just order a load of stuff in that will uh, that won't expire and do like a month's shopping all in one all at once. Free, uh, getting a load of frozen stuff at the time. Oh, hi there. You know what? You need a lancer. You are literally in the wrong time now. I like how they drop it, they drop the shield. Oh, I do not want the shield right now. Oh, thank you for bringing it to us. You literally just stop there. It's like delivery, sir. Did somebody order a shield? Uh, how do I? Okay, you just start to like keep us up. Oh, and I can't actually aim one. Oh. Razor Hail stopped. Right, oh, the Gunnam Brothers? This is no fun. Fucking hackers. That was the weather that I was uh, giving voice to there, just as a, as a heads up. Mm. Yeah, I've got my own cover, fools. I actually really like the shields in this game. Such a cool, uh, such a cool concept to a um, cover-based shooter. It's cover that you can actually carry with you, and is actually good. Damn it! Like the fact that they actually have smaller load, like the fact that we can carry it, gotcha. makes me wonder why some of the drones, like the ones especially that go around with pistol, like with the bolt pistols, don't use these shields. Ah, that's fair. See, I'll, I will admit I've never been much of a alcohol drinker. Like I, I drink it, but I don't. I wouldn't go out and buy a crate of beer, for example. Uh. Not so much my kind of thing. There. What's so the my shopping was always centaur? always fairly Find hefty, but never that bad. Oh, okay, things are happening. That is, if we didn't have a reaver swarm shitting on us. I wouldn't there, really call this a swarm. It's basically just one reaver. I'm oh, there he is. Oh, no, yet yeah, there's two. This is a swarm. We are all going to die horribly. God, I hate Reavers. It takes so much damage. Ooh. But they just 
soak so many bullets. Ow! And shoot rockets. They're following me. Alright, we got it. Wow. Eh, it's the uni life. Sounds like you're doing it right, dude. Mm. Um, I've got a bottle of cinnamon whiskey that I uh, bought recently, and I've been having that with Coke. And it is super delicious. That's something I've uh, kind of... That's a taste I've kind of uh, stolen after living with uh, one of my old housemates. He used to get it in, and it is delicious stuff. Okay, that Reaver just also phased through a wall there. I just, just want to make sure that that, that is known. Uh, where? Oh, is he landing? He's landing. And exploding me. He is both landing and exploding me at the same time. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. So actually, if rolling through their legs just has basically confused them for so long. But, but I can't turn around! Ooh. Sounds like you're making use of the, uh, his student loans. <laughs> that said, I've, I've known people to spend a lot uh, on nights out. Like, £80 is, is uh, actually quite small compared to some of the stories I had back in the day. Bye! Jack yet. Affirmative, Delta. You need to follow the old logging road up the mountain until it ends. If the data is correct, you should be able to find the entrance to the mountain from there. Roger that, Control. Delta out. Alright, now we're in a tank. We found oh yeah, I'll admit, I was never Fine one for, uh, for kind of going out. I say going out. Then Never one for like nightclubs and going out drinking. Like I tried so it easy. once when I was in uni, and found it was just lots of noise and crowd, and I just didn't enjoy it. Uh, not my personal thing. I always went like if I was going out, I would go to the pub with a, uh, with friends, have a chat, uh, maybe play some cards or you know something like cards into humanity. On those kinds of nights, I wouldn't spend more than like fifteen quid. Okay, I can aim. It's fine. Uh, also, this is kind of what I was talking about before. Like, every so often in, in this series, suddenly you're just... The, the, the level design is completely different to what you expect it to be. Like, suddenly we're in a tank. I guess, yes, we, we got this tank, so it makes sense. But every other time we've been in a tank, it's been a like pre-rendered cutscene and dead already. Like, just showing us getting from point A to point B. I would recommend, uh, like, personally looking into any, like, societies or clubs and stuff that uni has that uh, follows any hobbies you have given you. That's really what made my uni life uh, what it was. Uh, like, I had a, a game society, which was video games, tabletop games, anything you really wanted. Uh, as long as you, you know, if, if there was something that you didn't want, you could uh, usually shout the speak up and see if anybody else uh, fancy joining in. Uh, we had... What was it? Anacom, which was Animation and Comic Society, which was pretty cool. Basically, it was just us getting together every Thursday night to watch uh, cartoons and, and anime. And every so often, somebody would stand at the front and talk about the comics they enjoyed. Uh, excuse me, sir. He's dead. I am in so much tank pain right now. Is Baird fixing me? I hope Baird is fixing me. Oh, I missed. There we go. <laughs> I'm a charge a tank! Frank, what are you doing, you idiot? I'm a charge a tank! Frank, you... Uh, he's dead. He's dead, guys. Uh, let's go tell Frank's family that he didn't make it. When they ask why, we tell him that, that, that yes, he, he charged another tank. This time the tank was not, you know, inept and actually shot the guy that 
was not tank proof. Uh, it's going to be a long talk. Mm -hmm. We should probably, you know, tell his kid as well. Tank killer 463. He's, uh, he's, a, big, he's a big fan of his dad and uh, all his tank charging expertise. But he needs to know. He needs to know. Uh, such a such a uh, such a worry. Such a sad sad time. Ah, I was gonna say. And we are, sorry, yeah, we are, uh, I also had the TV and Movie Society, which I was actually on the committee for, which was my biggest uh, the society I enjoyed most. Uh, we literally just got together Mondays to watch uh, a load of TV programs with one regular, and Fridays to watch a movie, and it was literally yeah, the best society of the lot, in my opinion. Absolutely loved it. Especially was when I was on the committee and I got to basically every fortnight uh, run the sessions, so people had to watch what I put together, which was always fun. And surprisingly, uh, a little bit, surprisingly, and went over surprisingly well, despite my incredibly terrible taste in TV shows. I think it worked out quite well because I'm not a big movie watcher, but the treasurer was never a big TV per person, so the chairman basically ran it one week, Monday and Friday, and then I'd run the next Monday, the treasurer would run the Friday. Lake, Every so often switching it up so we I could show no a movie that I enjoyed, down. and he could uh, show some TV stuff he liked. It was very good. I really enjoyed that society. Oh, this bit. Okay. This is going to be awkward, isn't it? should just be able to make a straight path to it now. Alright, I think we got it, I think we got it. We're good. Hmm. We are old timey Phil now. Nice driving, Marcus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Reavers. Yes, land where I can actually aim at you. Like, honestly, if you'd stayed in the air, you'd have probably killed me. We're on the floor? Huh. Oh, he's still on the floor, he's not dead. The smoke made him look dead. Alright, we're good. And Baird's magical tank fixing powers are going to use in keeping us alive. Seriously, like Baird is not an engineer, he is a wizard. That is all I am. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Excuse me, sir, please stop. I can't aim at you if you keep making my screen shake. Okay, you're dead now. The tank is burning, Marcus. You want to die? There we go. Got him. Oh, that's not a kill, though. That's not a kill. How are you not dead? Oh, I can't. Uh, boom, got him. Ow. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I might actually die here to the Reavers. They're bloody hard to aim at sometimes. Mostly when they're flying, admittedly. What? what? Oh, that's all the blood from the one that I just killed, I guess. Oh, big. Oh, shit, I don't know. Oh, God. Alright, we're good. Our wizard has fixed the thing. I think... I haven't played it, but I believe I've watched... It. Yeah, I believe I've played it on tabletop, so I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about. It's one of those really... Like, heavy metal theme... Oh, pardon me. Heavy metal themed... Uh, like, battle system, if I remember right. Like, you're all wizards? Of some sort? Am I right in thinking that? Uh, and you basically make spells out of uh, three cards. If it's the one I'm thinking of. I could be thinking of a different game. Reavers! Do you want to play it, actually? It looks very fun. Ew. My current tabletop obsession, uh, when I get the chance to play it, which admittedly at the moment, having moved away from all my local friends, is much, much less than I would like. Uh, my current uh, obsession, however, is Dead of Winter. It's an amazing board game. Highly recommend it. Oh. Uh, I like to think that's the noise the tank makes every time it shoots. Uh, just, uh. Like it's a, it's a very weird, and yeah, just a very, very weird tank. Oop, oh. 
to kill that Troika. Let's, you know, let's get away from the Troika. Let's just regenerate a bit. Wizard, do your work. Oh, sorry. Uh, boop. Oh, this actually put us in a decent place to shoot Troika. Fortunately, it can shoot us, apparently. Uh, that worked. What would you do without no magic. You are literally a... Burn the witch! Like, I know he's saving our asses, but burn the witch. Oh, yeah. I, I, it's not tabletop that I've seen on it. It's, uh, the Oxcast did a video on it, and I don't Reaver. think I watched that one, admittedly. I should check it out. That does sound like a very cool concept for a game. Uh, eh. His pain made him dodge my rocket. Uh, yeah, that's it. That is a cool concept. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of those one of those kinds of games, admittedly. Like we've, um, we play Resistance a lot when we get together, like me and my friends for games. It is basically a game about arguing, and it usually just devolves into lots and lots of uh, arguing for about five or ten minutes before one of us, uh, oh, basically speaks up, catches the attention, goes, "Look, let's stop this. Let's just vote." <laughs> like we're not getting anywhere here. Nobody is changing anybody else's mind. Uh. Good, Louis. Hmm. I may have to check it out. Uh, it does sound like a good game. I will probably end up watching the uh, Yogscast video of it. Uh, they can be quite entertaining. And they often do a good job of uh, showing off game. Quite good actually. The um, between the Yogg's cast hat films and tabletop on the Geek and Sundry channel, there's actually quite a few good um, like tabletop shows out there for people who just want to Seriously, check out a game uh, before buying it. Like it's where most of my, uh, in fact, it's where all the games that I actively have gone out and bought, uh, where I found them. Boop. Although, admittedly, I've not bought any of the ones that uh, the Oxcast uh, have played, because they tend to play the kinds that aren't fully up my street. Mm. Yeah. But in the early seasons of Tabletop especially, like some of the, those games I, I felt that I had to buy. And it's well worth it. Excuse me, thank you. Someone behind me? No. Ugh. Hey, Baronon. I've been streaming for about an hour and a half. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to go on for. Probably another hour and a half or so. Uh, don't know. We'll see. Uh, call it when I get bored, I guess. Uh, but there is also a... This is the second stream of this game as well, so... I am a little bit in it, if that's why you're asking. Probably about four hours into the game. Roger, control. Thanks. Yeah. Stupidly need to blow my nose now. Ugh. Oh, cutscene coming up. I can mute myself while that's on. Just need to hold the snot until then. There's no way we're getting over that. There's gotta be a way across. Hmm. Oh, I actually, I actually thought it was going to have us try and jump it. Uh, this way, maybe? Oh, this way. What boost can we? No. Whee! Shit! There we go. Yeah. Alright, we made it. Totally, uh... You know, totally amazing jump. We are the greatest tank parkour that has ever been. That would actually be an amazing like thing to watch, actual tank parkour. Like, you know, not modern day tanks that go slow as shit, but like, if we could make an actual tank that went at this speed and did actual parkour, it would be quite interesting to watch. Uh, and probably quite destructive as well. Like, yeah, you're, you're scared when a tank suddenly appears in the field ahead of you and starts blowing all your army to shit. But you're more scared when that tank parkours onto the field in front of you. 
and you know just shows off its amazing amazing moves uh, before it starts you know blowing up your entire army Start magicking. Start doing your wizarding work. There's another. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's not particularly obvious, especially considering the game's. Um, I think that's the We're gonna have to take out that barricade. Especially considering how the game quite often just like handholds you and like has you, gives you the answer by if you press the Y button. Uh, like it just points your camera at the answer. So it's quite weird that it doesn't do it at that point. But, yeah. Can't remember how long it took me the first time. It has been a while since my first playthrough, Harbour. Boop. And boop. 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 Now that did not boop properly. Damn it! My aim! Why is my aim so terrible? Alright, I need to get out of here a second. We need to get some cover and have our wizard go to work. Yeesh. Ooh, there we go. Uh, just stay here whilst uh, our resident bad, uh, our, our resident wizard bad goes to uh, work. Fixius Tankius. Yeah, that's enough. Where is the turret? Oh, you can destroy oh, okay. That's useful. Got it! Mmm. Alright, we've got this now. Fixed everything. Everything's sorted. I fucked up my uh Oh what the f what the f <laughs> Alright, we're good. Everything's why is the tank just want determined to go left? I get it, it needs to turn around, but god damn. You need to die, sir. Thank you. Thank you for exploding. You made my day. And that's a wall. So I focused on the reload, All which I'm pretty back. sure I didn't need. Control Delta here. Uh, we're entering Mount Kadar. Oh no. Signal's probably gonna go Don't patchy, think we're quite so. done yet. Roger, Delta, keep me posted if you can. Wilco, Delta out. Okay, we're in. Now what? Ow. Now we keep our eyes out for Oh, Wilco's. I remember this bit. We're back on their home this bit is amazing so if, if, no sweat, if it's what I think I it is. Like the way it games. Great! It's gonna be real easy to shoot things now. Yo, somebody turn on the lights! Can't have no game without lights! Happy. Hmm? Where did we go? Oh, that way! Oh, that way! Nah, it's fine, he's gone. At least it's not another freaky ass worm! That's fair. That's fair. Not sure we could get the tank inside the worm. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think the tank would affect the worm's rocky skin. I think I'm pretty sure I'm reversing right now. Wait, need to turn the tank around. There we go, fixed it. Uh, ow. <clears throat> In the dark, that's my... Okay, that... This tank dry, like controls like ab absolute scum. Mm. Why is it too quiet? That was a corpse there a minute ago. Watch it! F Ooh, what? Oh. Never mind, not too quiet. Happy with it going back to the quiet. That was rude. That was really just a... That was the most pathetic drive-by ever. Like, two bullets bounce off our armoured tank. It's like... At least you get to feel like you did something, I guess. Like, you, you tried. You hey, gave it your best down. shot. Are we there yet? Alright. All quiet. And another drop. Tank struggled on that drop. Oh, there's a broom rack. Hmm. I'm having memories uh, from the second level where you see a broom rack just absolutely destroy a centaur. Wait, no, you see a centaur destroy a Brumac. One of the two. Uh, I don't plan on going into uh, PvP matches. 
I would love to do some horde mode on Gears War 3, uh, but I'm not a fan of the PvP in the Gears War games. Uh, like if I do PvP on stream, it'll usually be either Heroes of Storm or Overwatch. I enjoy both of those games. Come on, tank's just a little stalled. What's that? Also, what's that? Hmm. Okay. Those tank cannons are powerful. It takes two shots to kill one of the Reavers, but it takes one to kill each of those. But those guys have surprisingly little health. Ay, ay, ay. My sound. My extremely loud and painful sound. I'm sat on the other earphone, uh, apparently. Uh, one earphone for the ear, one for the ass, apparently. Hmm. Very pretty. Why is it so light down here now? Like, where is this light coming from? Seems to be some luminescent fog down here. Incoming. Hmm. Light could also be coming from that. Okay, where are you? You gonna show your face around the corner? Yeah, you are! You dead. Oh, there's another one. Unfair. Was not expecting the double team. Unexpected double teaming. Unexpected gangbang. By Brumax, which is an explosive time if uh, ever there was one. <sighs> Hey-ho. Alright. We're basically right there. I'm a... Incoming. Uh. Okay. Let's keep a distance. And... Oh god, oh god. So much pain. Alright, he's done. Oh! Yeah, pro- oh, there's another one! Stupid sneaky Brumax. Oh god, oh god. Ugh. Driving straight at the rockets is the best way of uh, dodging them. Yeah, take that static, mate. Only one way to go now. Are you crazy, Marcus? Oh shit! We're not gonna make it! Here we go! No more jumps, all right? Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, baby, let's do it again! Uh oh, I think Brad just pissed himself. <laughs> well, if he did, he can magic it away. Because once again, wizard. <laughs> I actually remember having a lot of trouble with this centaur section. I don't know if I've just gotten better at gaming since I've grown up. Or if I just still have the muscle memory of all the times I uh, attempted it. But, yeah, I struggled a lot with it back in the day. What the hell are you doing down here? Well, after you jackasses blew up my station and Franklin's outpost got overrun, the surface wasn't safe no more. And you guys thought down here was safe? Nowhere is shut. Not anymore. We were fine here for a few months, as long as you stayed away from the roads and Nexus. But now they're coming around where they didn't before. Kidnapping people, torturing them. Nexus. Yeah, Nexus. You got wax in your ears? Nexus is where all the locusts come from. Hey, old man. Can we get there from here? You'd have to cross the lake. But nobody does except locusts. Those waters ain't safe. Nowhere is, right? All right, Cole, Baird, I want you to take these people up to the surface. Dom and I will continue on foot. What? But they... They're gonna uh... die otherwise. You'll follow down in the grind lifts once we set off Jack's beacon. But we can't. This is what he tells you he'll take it under advisement. Come on, man, let's roll. 
Old man, gather everyone and go with them. They'll take you to safety. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't mean we gotta fight in your army now, does it? I didn't say that. But you're not staying here. Wait, before you go. You ever seen this woman? Name's Maria. Oh, pretty. Something about her face does seem familiar. Maybe she was with one of the other groups that came down before. Stu's group, I think. Uh, but Stu and them got captured. Oh, no. But the captured ones, the locusts have been taking them towards Nexus? Probably. Or the work camps along the way. How do we find them? When you get to the highway, near the dam, there's a path that'll take you there. Thanks, old man. Don't know what good it does you. You ain't getting in there unless you're a locust. Hey, Marcus. What if the beacon doesn't work? Then we'll see Jacinto down here. All right. Control, Delta here. Cole and Baird are heading back. to the surface with survivors for evac. Roger that, Delta. What about you and Dom? We're heading in deeper to the Nexus stronghold. We think we found the path. Copy that. We have grind lift reinforcements awaiting your signal. Thanks, Control. Delta out. On me, just burping away. What I get for drinking energy drink. Alright, so yeah, that was the old man from the first game, the uh, gas station down here. Uh, guy. Everything's gonna work out, Dom, alright? Seriously, so pretty. I, I, I hope so. I love Hard landscape shots where you, can, where you can actually see the distance. Too old. Maybe that'll like, be it's not the kind of thing you tend to get in underground, like subterranean think we take. Uh, stuff, so like a huge lake like this, surrounded by this kind of terrain, is just amazing. God damn, that's gorgeous. Now let's go and kill loads of stuff. Oh, bear krill. Uh... Oh, hi down there. Look out! Rude. I have no ammo in my. Damn it. Dang it. And I've got no ammo in any ranged gun now. Hey. Excuse me, sir, can you get into a, into assault rifle range, please? Alright, he's dead. There's some ammo somewhere, maybe? Uh, mm, I mean, explosions are fun. But I don't want to give up my sniper rifle. I don't particularly want to give up my lancer. My lancer's just nice. Uh, that said, I'm this low on ammo. Maybe I need to. But I don't want to pick something up and then uh, come across an ammo box. And I have to run all the way back to my sniper rifle. Let's keep going for now with very limited ammo. I can always back up and grab it if I need it. Hmm. Alright. Oh, is that coming around to shoot us? Yes, it is. Uh... They got boats? Alright. Worse. Gunboats. Gunboats are worse than boats. He is correct. Did that hit? I feel like he actually jumped towards it. No, he didn't. Dom, you're kind of in the way, buddy. I literally can't even get out. No, there we go. For some reason it was kind of, it kind of locked me into position. Alright, he's dead. Apparently Dom did all the damage and I just need to do it. I'm just not here anymore. There's no more a Marcus. <sighs> Alright. Might need to go with the talk though. I don't want to get rid of my sniper though. I love my sniper. But it's not doing me any good if it's not got any bullets. Mm. It's like the hardest choice that anybody Worst has ever had to make. Uh, where's that Theron guard? Where's an engineer? 
Literally just about dive into the fuck. Oh, okay, this is awkward. I'm in a really bad position. Oh hi. Okay, did not expect to survive that. Oh, incoming wretches. Okay, I need to back up. Why would you roll over there? Alright. That boat comes around, I'm basically screwed. It's coming around. Alright. We need to move to a safe place. Uh. Alright, we have literally undid any bit of progress we made. But anything that's dead is already dead, so, you know, there's that. I guess that's progress. Dom is tanking this like a boss. You know, until he dies and I need to rush forward and tank it like a boss to get him back up. Uh. Kill you. That's Dom. You're aiming at him thinking that must be an enemy that far forwards, but nope. That's my buddy. No, oh, and the boat's heading off, apparently. Yep, despairing. And seemingly sinking. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet ammo. Yeah, we do. Okay, nobody's on that uh, troika. I need to... Okay. <laughs> Get a range of that. Alright. We actually going kind of quiet there. This is... Uh, uh, I believe I'm on the highest... Uh, I believe I'm hardcore. I actually don't remember what they say on the... Uh, can't remember. I think I'm on hardcore. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm pretty terrible at video games, so it's entirely possible that I'm going on normal. Uh, boop. Do -do -do -do. Oh, my gear. Excuse me. Please explode. I am terrible. Literally the worst. Boop. All right, I think we're good. Mostly because you know the gong sound that tells me that I'm good. Not really any thinking about it. Mostly just yeah, no, no I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm very fortunate that boat has basically just you know given us a path. Very fortunate crashing. Mm -hmm. Looks like a boat at the end of the pier. We'll need that if we want to cross the lake. I mean, you don't think that we could maybe hijack one of these war boats, maybe? The, 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 the kind that's not going to just sink? Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to be smart about it, but no, 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 just sink. Like, I'm pretty sure that boat isn't waterworthy. Yeah. Damn it. I'm literally the worst. Oh, I'm running out of ammo here as well. Oh, that gunboat though. Is there actually is there anything explosive on it or I don't Like how do you destroy that one or do you have to just withstand it whilst you kill these guys? Boop. Thank you for standing still long enough for my terrible aim to work. Then Pretty sure I saw a um like bloodhound as well. The bloodhounds? What are they called? The giant, like, horrible bestial things. Pretty sure I saw one of them. Maybe not? I'm gonna round a corner and have it, like, jump on me, aren't I? Oh, there he is! Blizzard. It should always be dead if it's lost its helmet, at least it's on like half health. There we go. That guy went flying. 
and he's dead. Alright. Uh, did I pick the armor? Yeah. Pretty sure I did. Uh, got eight. See, I grew up on controllers. Like, I didn't start play, like PC gaming until quite late in my life, so I'm actually kind of more at home on a controller. But I really have no excuse when I've got terrible aim. Uh... Not that. Uh, oh, hi. Oop. Best cover ever. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ow, 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 ow. Oop. Love me a sniper rifle. Like, I always take it for granted. Uh, like being good for controller and being good for mouse and keyboard like I'm nowadays I've kind of got ex a, a fair bit of experience of both so I just always kind of assume that like it, any gamer can pick up either a mouse and keyboard or a, a controller and do well and then uh, like when you watch stuff like let's plays and stuff of people like quite often I watch the achievement hunter stuff and they are very much primarily console gamers so watching them play things on PC is usually quite hilarious just because they're terrible, like more so than usual. Okay. Let's get rid of your helmet at least. That's a super bullet, so we'll go for a helmeted head if we can. We can. Uh, this is a normal shot, so we will go for a unhelmeted head, which of course there is. Oh, we can, you know, get a shot on you. It's going to take a few to kill you in here. Um, again. Alright. I think that was the next shot, but. You know, it, it works, it works. Oop. Oh, come on. How many headshots do you take? Alright, there we go. Four shots and finally your skill exploded. Oh. He's dead. I'm pretty sure my first sniper shot on that guy went above his head. Like, it, it went higher than a headshot could, but still did damage. Like, how is that physically possible? How can you get higher than the head and still hit? <laughs> Maybe I just grazed, uh, like, the tip of his skull. Like, I want this mulcher, but I'm pretty sure that boat can, can't handle our weight, never mind the extra weight of a minigun. Ah, oh, crap. That boat's not getting us anywhere. Look out! You think? The pier, however. Just keep fighting for now. <laughs> this will do the job, I guess. We really need to get on that boat. Like there is no reason that this thing should still be afloat. <laughs> yes, it is wood, but it is bent under the water enough times that it, it should not be still above water. Uh, so what are those things? What, what is... Locusts have such cool kind of like beasts and stuff. Amazing game. Perfect time, time. Mm. Alright, we're good. We sorted it. Everything's fixed. Absolutely nothing. Uh, they're ramming us. Yeah, they're ramming us. No. Bad bow. Bad bow. Yeah, you better run away. Don't worry, Dom. I fixed it. I fixed everything. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh god. Well, this is awkward. Why'd they just drop off? Are they afraid of the emulsion fumes? That or something else. Keep your eyes open. Or shut them and hey, wait. basically what get rid of any, any fear. Like bliss. Ign ignorance and bliss. Ignorance is bliss. Yes, that's the thing I was trying to say that took me far too long to say. Uh, wrong way. Oop. <laughs> I'm now cut off on the wrong on the other side of my camera. There we go, that's 
I should die. Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah, I. Need to get off this thing, man. I've completed on insane before, but <laughs> I don't envy like that was back when I played this game quite a bit. What the? Hell? Oh, I was literally looking like, where's the gunman? Also, why is Dom on fire? There we go. I feel this is a much better position to be in. But yeah, completed on insane back when I used to play this. Like I used to complete this campaign couple of times a year, back when it first came out. Like, I, at least. Like, I used to love the Gears of War series and the Halo series. I completed them both a fair bit. That guy looked like he was teleporting or something. He just looked like he was a magician. Or had some sort of force field. Like, Gears of War, Halo, and Time Splits. Those series, I basically just... I, I rarely completed games as a kid, but those three series I completed constantly. Like, if I was bored, I could usually just rely on one of those to make me feel better. Who's that? Thank you. Uh, you can't, unfortunately. It'd be cool if you could, but they are. I don't know if it's just that they're heavily armoured. But you, at least I'm pretty sure you can't kill them. Uh, you know what? No, no, they're all armoured on top. I now can't get away from the side of the boat. Okay, there we go. All we needed to do was teleport to the nearest piece of colour. Oh, I mean, I could kill the driver. Or the guy that's literally, like... Is there a guy literally on that, 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 there's a guy on the light, like, everybody else is shooting, he's just, like, everybody who was shooting is dead, and he's still there, like, don't worry, I got this. Just shines the light on us. They're, they're, they're surface creatures, that means they're afraid of the light, right? No, Frank, that's us. Also, every locust that is ever at all idiot idiotic is called Frank, apparently. Seems to be my go-to locust name. <laughs> You know what? Why the hell was I doing this? Ugh. Mm, pretty. Oh, goddamn pretty. We'll just pretend we didn't see anything there. Can't be anything bad happen. On subhead. Uh, I actually don't know what that is. Uh, I'll admit. Uh, get to elaborate, paranormal. Cuphead. I would. I definitely plan on getting Cuphead, and would love to uh, stream it. Oops. Um. Hang on, Dom. It might be something I get soon. I don't know. Like at the moment, my my current plans for streaming is to go through the Gears of War series. So, and that's going to be at least a few, uh, a few more games, which at my at my stream streaming schedule probably means. It won't be till after Christmas that I move on to another series or game. I don't see it. It's windy outside. But it's down there. Uh, got those grenades. I just realised that I need explosive grenades. This, but there we go. Where yeah, I, could, uh, I would definitely. I, know, I could definitely, definitely see myself streaming that. Probably terribly, admittedly. But I do want it, and I'm, I'm going to hold off till the Christmas sales on Steam to see if I uh, can get it cheap. Although, admittedly, it is only 15 quid, so you wouldn't think I'd need to wait. Excuse me, sir. This is my boat. Stop that. Yeah. 
You saw nothing, which is a problem. Uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 are amazing. The enhanced editions on Steam are really good. Um, Baldur's Gate 1 was actually one of the first series I actually did on my channel. Uh, originally with, with Hellish, actually. You've, I think believe that's how you um, found my channel. Ah, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> and then Dom just gets flung. Um, but yeah, uh, Baldur's Gate 1, actually, sorry, is amazing. I've never played Baldur's Gate 2. I'm the kind of OCD fucker who can't move on to a sequel until he's played the original. And I've never completed Baldur's Gate 1. I've put countless hours into it. But it's just a very long game. And with the sandbox nature of it, there's certain points you get to that you just... It, make, it is very difficult. It's a very difficult game. But the last time I played it, I got to a point where... I got into a, uh, I kept getting to the same bit, and I just stumbled into a conversation with this ogre mage, and it always ended in the same in, in a combat, despite the choice I made, and it always ended in him killing me like two seconds flat. And Minsk is the is one of the greatest characters ever. There is, um, I got some metal posters uh, for my new flat, and on the site where they uh, where I got them, they had a silhouette like a black and uh, white really arty silhouette of Minsk with the quote uh, fear my uh, what is it fear boo the space it's not space rodent it's uh, sentient, sentient space rodent like but uh, I will grab a link and throw it in the chat at some point um, possibly while well it's a cutscene because it, it is an amazing uh, amazing poster I was tempted by it. I may start up getting it at some point. Oh, hello. Shoot for the eyes. You're a you're a Zelda boss, aren't you? You're in the wrong game, dude. God damn it! How do we kill this thing? Like the worm from the inside. Yes. This is gonna be our method for everything now, isn't it? Like, ah, uh, can't seem to kill it. So you know what? Let, let's get eaten by it. This is how you do it. All right. Nope. It's t we're literally being attacked by its tonsils right now. Ah, that's this is how you do it. Uh, in you go. That was not. In you go. go damn it. Uh. Oh, he's gonna let go. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, hit him before he let go, I guess. Yeah. This is really unfortunate, as it requires on my terrible aim. Ow! Stop that. Alright. Try from the middle. I should pass him through at some point. Uh, boom. Got it. Like, what the fuck kind of innards is that? <laughs> go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Oh, I absolutely... I love Minsk, but he's not my favourite character in Baldur's Gate. Mostly because there is a character that fits a stereotype that I love, um, which is the kind of White Knight stereotype. Uh, like White Knight with a depressing backstory stereotype. And he, he also just happens to be one of the strongest characters, and that is Keevan, the uh, archer, archery-based ranger. That you, um, you find him near the Mage Tower very early on. The problem is that his quest uh, requires you to go somewhere very late in the game. So the last time I played, he basically just got bored with me. Like, you're taking too long. I need to go kill these people. What, why are we not going to kill these people yet? Stop that! Stop it! Okay, why are you not... There we go. There we go. Oh, I've got no grenades. Oh, I've got no grenades! Oh, this is awkward. This is horrible. All right, we're good. Just need to go to, oh, there it is. Uh. Yeah, it's a pity that me and AD didn't manage to get through um, more of that uh, a Baldur's Gate in our play for other. Um, I think our schedules just clashed at the time, unfortunately. I need to do more, I need to do a series of AD at some point. But uh, I feel like he plays very different games to myself. 
unfortunately. Excuse me, can you open your eye? Hey, hey. Don't use your eyelid, that's cheating. Uh, thing about the Baldur's Gate series, uh, the, ca the characters that you get in your party all have very cool personalities. Like even Jahira and Khaled, uh, who you get right at the start, are very cool, uh, well, are very cool character concepts. Uh... Biggest, biggest fish I've ever caught. Let's just get out of the goddamn water. Is that mint score key when you're talking about that, Gabe? I can see you actually missing both. Like Keevan is kind of like Keevan if you're exploring an area, if you explore if you explore areas fully, you're gonna stumble across him because he just just come out of like nowhere in a wilderness area. Whereas Minsk is just a NPC standing in the middle of town. He doesn't approach you or anything, you've got to talk to him. I can understand somebody missing Minsk. It's why I've kind of built the ha it's one of the things that's caused me to build build a habit in RPGs of literally talking to everybody. And, uh, that's fair enough. As I say, if you don't explore the area fully, it's very easy to miss him. Hey, Marcus, um, lit torches. I think we are say, in the back door. It bugs me that his mission or that, that his quest requires you to go so deep. So you gotta go for like the uh, chapter two or three end area uh when you're and he's like you can find him very early on like you can find him in like the fourth or fifth zone you go to technically you get there in about three zones i think it's like three journeys away from candlekeep uh minsk is cool i will give you that he is a very cool character uh, da -da 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 -da. So what, while this cutscene's going, I'll see if I can find the metal post that I was talking about. With that many troops on the move, that's gotta be the highway. Well then let's follow them to where the action is. Wait, Marcus. The old guy said we had to branch off the highway at the dam. Look. We need to stick to the mission. We have no idea if Maria's down here, and every- I need to know. You don't have to go with me, all right? Damn it. That's just gonna get us both killed. We need to get into the stronghold and activate the beacon. This is it, Dom. This is everything we've been fighting for. Hey, yeah? yeah? That's the best I was talking about. I've been fighting for. She's my fucking wife, all right? So you're gonna turn your back on your whole world, then? The other gears we fought with? All the people who've died? I'm sorry, Marcus. After what you did for your father, I thought you'd understand. Ah, oh, hell. Dom, wait up. Yeah, bros to the end. Fuck the human race. We'll save your wife and then everybody will die horribly because we don't, you know, do the job we're supposed Follow to do. It'll, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Right. Um. Alright, totally fine. Pretty sure we won't find any uh, locusts around this area. It doesn't look at all, you know, occupied or artificial in any way, I guess. Uh, like, definitely nobody here. Pretty sure. 
Boop. Mm. I really like that site. I will admit. Uh, they've got some very nice posters in that one. It just... It, I wasn't expecting to, uh, to see like a poster or anything of Minsk. He just seems like he does seem like a side character in a uh, game like oh and yeah they are expensive i think i spent 100 and, 110 quid on three of them uh three posters uh last not this month but last month Looks like the old guys with my first paycheck from a new job was my treat to myself Move up. Ooh. It's got the quiet, creepy thing going on. Great, more water. Let's look for a way across. Oop. This looks uh, interactable. Totally still awake, as I should be, considering you know it's only like quarter past nine in the evening. Ugh. Marcus, that grub's opening the floodgates. Oh. Wait. Oh crap. Where is he? Take it. Now, nope, didn't work. I had a plan. That plan was not very was not very good. Oi. Bloody hell. I think I'm actually gonna leave it here. Ugh, I don't know why, but I'm suddenly getting very tired. Let's look for a way across. Stupid nine to five uh, lifestyle during the week getting to me. Uh, I am gonna call it though. So, boop. Uh, which one is it? That, uh, that, 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 mm, that one. Hey, there we go. Alright, so yes, I will be back with more Gears of War at some point. I'm not going to make any promises as to when, however. Uh, I will thank you for, uh, for hanging out, uh, those that have, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.